8.30 a.m. now, it's very dark, so I'm only getting a little bit of light when I pass by a street lamp. But I'm only up this early for one reason, and that is to go to Sunrise Yoga at the top of Marina Bay Sands. I am so excited, it's something I've wanted to do for the longest time. Sorry, my face mask is flying away there. This is where I am right now, so there's the shoppies at Marina Bay Sands. And here is Marina Bay Sands. There's the tip of the boat where we'll be doing yoga. And I don't know if in the background there you can see the Ferris wheel. <laughs> given us two towels and also a pair of headphones that we can hear everything the instructor is saying throughout the class. There's also um, two blocks and then they've set up all the mats already and there you can see the instructor and everyone's just getting ready for class. I just thought I'd catch up and tell you all about how I found yoga this morning. Genuinely, that has to be the best class I've ever done for views. I would literally give it 10 out of 10 for views. I love the ambience as well. Really, really lovely class. It was really organized, like everything was all set up and I love that they give you headphones too because it does get a little bit windy up there and that means that coming through the headphones, you not only have your teacher's voice, but you also have some lovely music as well that keeps you nice and calm and in the zone. And every time I was doing a pose that was like looking out to the side, I could just see the gorgeous view. And right at the end when we were doing a bit of a meditation in Ashvasana, I was just looking up to the sky and I genuinely could have fallen asleep. Like it was just so beautiful, as I'm sure you could tell from the videos. <laughs> I would rate it 10 out of 10 for ambience and views. Best, best class I've ever done for that. And I've been really lucky to go to some really lovely yoga classes. I think that's just the one thing I hated about doing yoga in the UK is that there's, there's no way you can go and get a nice view. There's never, the weather's never nice enough for someone to ever host like a nice outdoor yoga class. 
and really the nicest place you can go is like a park <laughs> if someone was gonna host in like a park maybe i've done quite a few yoga classes in bali and that was gorgeous because again that was outdoors whereas in the uk doing yoga is just not the same <laughs> as doing it out here in southeast asia i am a little bit of a yogi i'm no professional but i'd love to do more yoga now that i'm here um, and I definitely will for non Marina Bay Sands members um, if you're not part of the reward program for MBS then it costs $30 if you are a member then it's only 20 sorry if it's a little bit noisy there's some construction going on over there and I'm aware that it's probably a little bit noisy so very sorry about that and then I went for a really nice brunch well actually a breakfast because it's 9am <laughs> great coffee good food good portion sizes so I would definitely recommend going to a common man stand the only other downside I can say really is that sometimes it can be cancelled especially at the moment because it's rainy season I did originally book for last week and then I got a text message when I woke up in the morning saying sorry but it's been cancelled because we are expecting heavy rain so that's the only negative is obviously because it's outdoor we can't even have a drop of rain because obviously it's not safe but all right i'm gonna head back home and uh, we'll catch up in a little bit so guys today's video is not over yet and i think you're gonna want to stay and see what i get up to next tonight i am going somewhere that has been on my singapore bucket list since even before arriving in singapore and if you're a foodie or you like chicken satay you may have guessed where I'm going. This is La Passat. Home to a really popular hawker center, but also to the Sate Street. Okay guys, so I've just got to La Passat and I am standing at the top of Boon Tat Street. That's the street that they close, ready for the Sate. The vendors have started making their Sate. It smells so good. And they're just waiting for 7 p.m., which is when they close the road. I think it's about five minutes to go at the moment. They've got the barriers ready and um, I'm excited. I've got two friends that are coming with me as well. I'm not sure if they're gonna have satay or eat from the hawker, but the hawker has so many options. I was so surprised at how many options are there. And just like that, at exactly 7 p.m., the road is closed off. It is honestly so crazy to me that it goes from this, a fully functioning street with cars coming down, to then a closed off street and the vendors bringing out tables and chairs ready to get everything set for the satay. And honestly, it only takes a couple of minutes and then it's all ready to go. satay here so just to show you the set that we got so we've got some beef some mutton and some chicken and then it's come with the satay sauce as well okay I just wanted to take a moment to show you guys this satay sauce can you see the consistency of that I don't know if any of you guys are watching from England but I feel like the satay sauce in England is just not it it's usually just looks like some peanuts and that's literally it whereas this is full of herbs and spices and it's really thick and it's the proper satay sauce I am so excited to try this in my comfies sorry if i look a little bit sweaty i literally just got in and my aircon was switched off while i was out so just waiting for it to cool down in here <laughs> so i thought i would just finish off this video by giving you guys like a little round off of what i thought and maybe give you guys some tips as well so i'm super super glad i went and if you're a satay fan it's definitely something that you have to check out so it's boon tat is the street that closes and it closes at 7 p.m on the dot and they are literally there waiting for it to hit seven and the second it does they close that street there was a car literally coming to drive
drive down and they did not care. They closed off that street at 7 p.m. That leads me to my first kind of tip for you guys, which is don't be afraid to take your time. You are gonna be harassed by aunties and uncles who want you to come and go to their satay stall. Um, now, as I mentioned, I went to satay stall seven and eight because they have awards and they're meant to be the best satay stalls. So I went to that one um and it was it was yummy but i'll get to that in a minute even while i was in the queue for my satay so i already knew what i wanted i had the menu in my hand and i was literally about to go and order there's still uncles coming from other stores like come to mine come to mine so don't be afraid to say like no thank you and i'm all good and just take your time because you're going to regret it if you feel rushed or you end up going to one that actually you don't love or you pick a set that you don't love um you'll regret it so while you're there just don't be afraid to say no don't be afraid to take your time you want to try another store you absolutely can but i do highly recommend seven and eight that's the one that i went to and that's the one that i was recommended they have sets so you can have a look at the menu and they've got like a chicken set or a chicken mutton and beef set prawn sets like loads of different things so you can pick how much you want i would just say that it's a little bit pricey of course La Passat is the oldest hawker centre in Singapore. La Passat actually means old market. So they know it's touristy, they know it's popular. So of course they're gonna put the prices up for the satay because it's such a popular place to come. And now the satay street has such a famous name and everyone knows about it. Yeah, the prices are a little bit more expensive. That's all I would say. So do be prepared that it's not a really cheap thing to come and do, but it's super fun and the food is so good. So my next kind of tip for you guys is to either get there early or get there late because by 7, 10, 7, 05 already, the, all the tables were gone because people are there ready to get the satay. But I was seeing people literally not getting tables for 15, 20, 25 minutes because they'd come at like 7.30 or 7.45 or eight o'clock. So I wouldn't recommend coming at any of those times. I was there from 6.45, the minute the tables went out, I was there ready to grab one with my friend. So I'd recommend doing that or come late. So when I was leaving, it was about 9.50, 9.45 when I was leaving. And as we were leaving, I could see a couple of free tables around. So yeah, I would recommend either coming early and being there and watching the street open is quite cool. So I'd quite recommend that. Otherwise, get there late. <laughs> when it comes to the satay itself, my favorite just has to be the chicken but I was really pleasantly surprised by the beef and the mutton. So initially we weren't really sure if we wanted the beef and the mutton because I'm not a huge beef or mutton person and neither was my friend. So we were like, mm, should we just get chicken? But then we're like, no, let's just go all out and just try them all. But I didn't know if I was gonna love them, but I was really pleasantly surprised. So all in all, a really, really great experience and one that I'm so glad that I did. But I think that's where I'm gonna finish today's video. If you guys did enjoy it, don't forget to give it a massive thumbs up and also hit that red subscribe button down below so you don't miss the rest of my videos. If you guys do have any video requests or things that you'd like to see from me, also let me know down below as well and I'll always get back to you guys. But thank you so much guys and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. <laughs>